In today's video, we're diving into the most jaw-dropping, headline-making, economy-shaking infrastructure projects happening right now across Mozambique. Mozambique isn't doing this just to look good on a global stage. Mozambique is still a developing country, yes, one that's been hit hard in recent years by civil unrest, natural disasters, and economic instability. But despite all that, it's been resilient. And in 2025, it's betting big on infrastructure as the ticket out of struggle and into prosperity. These megaprojects could very well catapult Mozambique into one of Southern Africa's strongest economies within a decade. So without further ado, let's jump in. 6. Kahora Bassa Dam Rehabilitation First up, the iconic Kahora Bassa Dam in Tet Province. Standing tall since 1979, this hydroelectric giant boasts a capacity of 2,075 megawatts, making it Southern Africa's largest. But even giants need a facelift. In 2022, Hydroelectrica de Cahora Bassa, HCB, secured a $125 million loan to rejuvenate the dam's infrastructure. The rehabilitation, led by a consortium of Sueco, Sweden, and Intertechn Consultors, Brazil, aims to extend the dam's lifespan by 25 years and boost its capacity by 5%, adding an extra 105 megawatts. Why does this matter? Well, this dam isn't just a power source, it's a lifeline. It supplies electricity domestically and exports to neighboring countries, fueling industries and homes alike. Plus, with a reservoir stretching 270 kilometers, it's also a hub for fisheries, especially the Capenta fishery, which yields over 10,000 tons annually. By 2025, once the upgrades wrap up, Mozambique will have a more robust and efficient power backbone, driving economic growth and regional integration. 5. Port of Beira Modernization Next, we sail to the Port of Beira in Sofala province. This port isn't just Mozambique's pride, it's a critical artery for landlocked neighbors like Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Malawi. Recognizing its strategic importance, the government, in partnership with Cornelder de Mocambique, is investing $290 million over 15 years to modernize and expand the port. The goal is to triple the container handling capacity from 300,000 to 700,000 TUs annually, with aspirations to hit the 1 million mark. And the results are already showing. In the first half of 2024, the port handled 161,000 containers, a 58% increase from the previous year. Upgrades include expanding storage areas by 4 hectares, acquiring 4 new modern cranes, and enhancing access roads and rail links, like the 318 km Machapanda Railway connecting to Zimbabwe. Overall, these improvements not only boost trade efficiency but also position Mozambique as a premier logistics hub in southern Africa. 4. Makuba Ring Road and Lukungo River Bridge Now we journey to Zambezia province, where the town of Makuba is set for a transformative upgrade. The existing bridge over the Lukungo River, built in the 1940s, has seen better days. Prone to flood damage and congestion, it's a bottleneck on the vital National Road No. 1, N1. Enter the Makuba Ring Road and Lukungo River Bridge Project. Backed by the Millennium Challenge Corporation, MCC, this $201 million initiative aims to construct a new 1.8 km bridge 5 km downstream from the current one and develop a 16 km ring road to divert heavy traffic away from Makuba Center. It is set to commence in September 2025 and complete by 2030. This project promises enhanced safety and reduced travel times, improved resilience against floods, and stimulated economic activity by ensuring uninterrupted connectivity. By modernizing this critical junction, Mozambique ensures smoother north-south transit, bolstering trade and mobility. 3. Mozambique LNG Project In the northern province of Cabo Delgado, the Mozambique LNG project stands as a monumental endeavor poised to reshape the nation's economic landscape. With an estimated investment of $20 billion, this liquefied natural gas LNG, project is spearheaded by Total Energies, in collaboration with global partners including ExxonMobil. 
The project's primary objective is to exploit the vast offshore gas reserves in the Rovuma Basin, positioning Mozambique as a key player in the global energy market. The project's scope encompasses the development of offshore gas fields, the construction of onshore liquefaction facilities, and the establishment of export terminals. However, progress has been impeded by security challenges, notably Islamist insurgent attacks that led to a force majeure declaration in 2021. Efforts to resume operations are underway, with Total Energies and the Mozambican government engaging in discussions to address security concerns and secure necessary financing. 2. Temain Thermal Power Station In the southern region of Inhambane province, the Temain Thermal Power Station emerges as a pivotal project in Mozambique's quest for energy self-sufficiency. Valued at approximately $650 million, this 450-megawatt gas-fired power plant is a collaborative effort involving Globlec, Sesol, and Electricide de Mocambique, EDM. The plant is designed to utilize natural gas from the Ponde and Temain fields, supplying electricity to the national grid under a 25-year power purchase agreement. Construction commenced in March 2022, with commercial operations slated to begin in January 2025. The project also includes the development of a 563-kilometer high-voltage transmission line to Maputo, enhancing connectivity and distribution capabilities. The Temain Thermal Power Station is expected to increase Mozambique's installed electricity capacity by approximately 16%, providing power to over 1.5 million households by 2030. This advancement aligns with the government's Universal Energy Access Program and underscores the nation's commitment to sustainable development. 1. Lachinga Solar Power Station In the northern province of Nyasa, the Lachinga Solar Power Station represents Mozambique's foray into renewable energy. This planned 50-megawatt photovoltaic facility is a joint venture between Gigawatt Global and the Anglican Church of Nyasa, with an estimated investment of $200 million. The project aims to supply clean energy to the national grid, focusing on underserved districts such as Lago, Mecula, Mecanhilas, Mavego, and Mandimba. By harnessing solar power, the Lachinga station is poised to reduce reliance on fossil fuels, lower greenhouse gas emissions, and promote environmental sustainability. Beyond environmental benefits, the project is expected to stimulate local economies through job creation during the construction and operational phases. It also aligns with Mozambique's broader strategy to diversify its energy portfolio and ensure equitable access to electricity across all regions. And there you have it. Mozambique in 2025 is a nation on the move. These mega-projects aren't just constructions, they're symbols of ambition, resilience, and a brighter future. Stay tuned as we continue to spotlight transformative developments across the globe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights.